What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I wanted to compare the newly released iOS 8.4.1 firmware to iOS 8.4. So this is something I do every single time a new firmware is released, you know, it's curiosity. I like to see what's changed, if there's anything under the hood performance-wise, you know, Wi-Fi speed test-wise, that Apple has updated and remedied. Now we all know that iOS 8 has the Wi-Fi bug, I mean it just drops, it's slow, so I just want to see if iOS 8.4.1 fixes that issue, if it's any faster. Usually Apple does under the cover updates and they don't really mention them. It's uh, hard to see until you start using the device. Now in my previous video, iOS 8.3 versus 8.4, I did know that iOS 8.4 was a little bit slower than 8.3 on the iPhone 4S. So I'm going to be testing this comparison on both iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S, two of the slowest devices, you know, two of the oldest ones that currently support the newest firmware. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be running a speed test, the Geekbench, launch some applications, you know, to generally see how it compares to the old firmware. And a couple questions I wanted to answer right now. This icon right here, I've had so many people ask me about it, that's the 64-bit version of Chrome. I'm just too lazy to uninstall it because the new version is already 64-bit, it's just there forever. What are these phones doing on my table? I'm gonna be doing a new case test video very soon this week with a water test and 10 more durable cases, so stay tuned for all of that. I'm really looking forward to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in and see if iOS 8.4.1 is worth updating to if it's any faster than 8.4. All right, so just so you guys can tell, I do have 8.4 on the left and 8.4.1 on these guys on the right. So I've got them all aligned, the newest firmware installed. And just so you guys know, 8.4.1 was not a very significant update. The only big difference is the music application has been updated. It's uh, more steady now, less bugs. So overall, it's gonna perform a little bit better. But like I said, Apple always throws in hidden updates as well. So let's go ahead and see if these guys are in any way faster on 8.4.1. I personally think that the iPhone 4 will do a little bit better on 8.4.1, but let's go ahead and begin with a startup test. All right, so I've got all these guys connected to the same power adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on, and here we go. So, um, looks like they're all booting up right now. I'm personally rooting for 8.4.1. It seems like a very light update. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any big performance change, but who knows, it might make a little bit of a difference. And it looks like the iPhone 5s are booting up. So, uh, 8.4.1, remember, is on the right and looks like 8.4.1 might be in the lead. Nope, 8.4 was a few seconds faster actually, wow. So uh, 8.4.1 on the other hand on the iPhone 4S was a tad bit faster. So it looks like on the older devices, it booted up a little bit faster on the newer one, it was uh, you know pretty much the same, 8.4 was a few seconds faster. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, launch some applications, see how usability is. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the entire app switcher. All right, so with everything cleared out, let's go ahead and start on the iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead and launch the App Store, see which one takes longer to load. And it looks like 8.4.1 is actually a few seconds faster. Not only did it launch smoother, look at this, it loaded a lot faster. This one's not even doing anything. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, let's see if that translated over to the iPhone 5. Anyways, let's go ahead and launch this guy. And it looks like 8.4 again was a little bit faster. Hmm, I don't understand why. It seems like 8.4.1 is faster on the older devices. Now let's go ahead and uh, try the Maps application. As you can see, it's very noticeable. Opening applications on the 4S is a lot smoother on 8.4.1 and it loaded a lot faster. Let's do it for weather. Look at that, like there's no delay. And I uh, loaded faster on 8.4, but it was a smoother opening on 8.4.1. Now let's do the same over here. Both equally smooth, both loaded at the exact same time. Let's do weather. So uh, 8.4.1, just a tad bit faster. So uh, overall, in terms of fluidity on the older devices on the 4S, looks like it is better on 8.4.1. So this is a firmware definitely worth updating to on the 4S. And let's go ahead and jump into the Geekbench, see if the numbers prove that it is a little bit faster. And just opening up applications, it's a lot smoother, I can definitely tell. So let's go ahead and run them on these guys, and the same on 
the iPhone 5s. And it looks like on the iPhone 5, 8.4.1 did considerably better in the single core score. However, multi-core score was about the same on these devices. So um, it's a little bit surprising. That's a pretty big deviation right there. I'm wondering to see if the iPhone 4S will have the same results. Now, the iPhone 4S on 8.4.1 did finish considerably faster. And as you guys can see, the score is noticeably better. So in both cases, this does support 8.4.1 is improved in performance on both devices. So even though Apple didn't make it abundantly clear in their changelog that they did improve the performance, I can definitely tell it's more fluid when opening applications. You know, the Geekbench score supports it. I mean, let me just let me just open up the iTunes application. Just watch for fluidity right here. When I open both, there's a slight stutter on 8.4 and 8.4.1 always loads faster on the iPhone 4S. So if you're still using one of these, I would certainly recommend upgrading to it. Anyways, last test, I want to go ahead and see if the Wi-Fi was improved, if it's any better. I'm going to go ahead and run the speed test individually on every single device and I'll see if it did improve. So check this out. Not only did 8.4.1 improve in performance, fluidity, and speed, it's also doing much better in terms of Wi-Fi speed. So on the iPhone 4S, it's not as noticeable. You know, there's a little bit of an increase in both the download and upload, but when it comes to the iPhone 5s, look at this, there is a massive difference in both. And so all around guys, great. I mean, no complaints. It's fast. The Wi-Fi is better. I mean, I haven't been experiencing any hangups or anything. It's definitely doing much better. So I would recommend upgrading, but only if you don't want to lose your jailbreak. Of course, you guys will be losing it if you do choose to update. Overall though, I'm very satisfied. Good job, Apple. You guys are making iOS 8 so much better. And this will very likely be the last iOS update ever. Between now and September 8th, 9th, whenever the event will be, this is probably the last iOS 8 update. And overall, well done. It's going to be a good one to wrap things up on. Although that every device that supports iOS 8 right now, they will also support iOS 9. So nobody's getting left behind. Hopefully iOS 9 just builds on this, makes it even better, even faster. But I'm very happy with what Apple is doing. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it did give you an idea of what iOS 8.4.1 compares like to iOS 8.4. And as you guys can see, it's definitely better in every single aspect, especially on older devices such as the iPhone 4S. I'm very glad that Apple supports older devices and not only do they support them, they improve the performance over time. What other company can you say does that? So I'm very happy about that. Thanks for watching guys so much. Have a great day and I've got so many videos planned for the next couple of weeks. I'm very, very excited to have this channel, to have you guys, to have someone to create such awesome content for. So uh, appreciate that so much guys. I'm just really happy to have you. That's all. Anyways, have a great day guys. Peace.